boy, did I stir up some shit. Oh, did you? Yeah. So the city of Idaho Falls specifically, explicitly states, mm -hmm. don't be saving a spot on the parade route. Right. On 4th Street <laughs> or on Boulevard mm -hmm. before 6 a.m. on July 4th. Right. It's like on the website, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah. At 6 p.m., and they kind of make a big deal out of it. Right. At 6 p.m. on July 3rd, blankets, mm -hmm. camp chairs, Everywhere. really nice, expensive looking ones. Right. That's the thing I don't get. Like, and the even risk tents. involved. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And not we're not talking about somebody's lawn who lives on 4th Street or Boulevard. Right. right. We're talking about, obviously, public property. Mm -hmm. And this brought up another debate. Mm -hmm. um, people were putting, you know, tape Caution tape, I don't know what you call it. Right. Tag tape. Like stakes on the ground with like string through it. Right. Mm -hmm. On parking strips. I think that's what they're called. You got a street. Mm -hmm. You got a parking strip with grass and lawn, typically. That's right. where the mailboxes are. Right. Then a sidewalk, then your own personal lawn. Mm -hmm. As far as I know, the rule is the parking strip and the sidewalks are city property, mm -hmm. but you as a property owner have to maintain them. Yes. Mm -hmm. So because they're city property, you probably shouldn't be putting your stuff there either. No, exactly. So I posted a picture. Mm -hmm. You took it. I did. With your phone. Mm -hmm. Like, hey, send that to me. I want to see some smart ass <laughs> on the internet. Can you imagine some like rando out of towner driving through Idaho Falls on the third and just being like, God, these people must must have a horrible homelessness yeah. problem. What's going on in Idaho oh. Falls? Oh, man. <laughs> yes, because it did. It looked like a tent city springing up. It did a little bit. <clears throat> it's freaky. So I just posted what I thought was sort of a tongue-in-cheek, hey, guys, free <laughs> blankets, camp chairs, and even tents uh, mm -hmm. until 6 a.m. Because mm -hmm. the people there weren't honoring the city rules. Right. The people who had done that. So this is mm -hmm. a this is a perfect am I the asshole? Right. You know, there's something that um Because I don't think I am. So I think I've mentioned that I help out with some kids, right? And the thing that I constantly say to them is, well, you know, just because someone else is doing the wrong thing doesn't mean we're allowed to. So for example, uh I think one day we were trying to like I don't know, go to like a splash pad or something and people were cutting across a certain way that they weren't supposed to go. And they were like, let's just go that way. And I was like, hey, guys, no, that's, the rule is this. Yeah, that's a and really good thing to teach right. children, I, I think. think so, too. Yeah. I think so, too. But I kind of thought about wanting to take it a step further, and maybe we will next year. Yeah. <laughs> you are putting blankets mm -hmm. and camp chairs and tents on city property. So what's to stop us from posting, I don't know, every 10 feet along the parade route? Mm-hmm. Um, signs that say free, take one. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, if we're all breaking the rules, if we're all break, see, <laughs> see what I'm saying? Right. And you know what? It's not fair to the people who follow the rules and who get there early and who do the right thing. Right. You know, like why the, do the heathens, you know what? The people that wake up at four yeah, to be out the door by five, mm -hmm. to be there at five 30, right. to claim a spot that are following the rules. They deserve to at least take your stuff and, I don't know, play the, uh, you ever done the swapping game? Huh. What was it called? When I was in high school, I never did it. But Bigger and better? But No, somebody, no, I know that one. Okay. But somebody, um, they, and it, it may have just been a theory. Okay. Maybe like a friend of a friend, right, urban right. legend mm -hmm. did it. But they're like, yeah, we went replacing one night. We would drive up and down streets, uh -huh. and if we saw a sprinkler, we'd sneak up and <gasps> unattach it, uh -huh. and then we'd put something like- Random on there. Like, yeah, um, put a different- They'd go swapping sprinklers or go okay. harmless fun, but still <laughs> kind of devilish. kind of devilish. And kind of creative. Yeah. Can you imagine just walking out- Mm -hmm. to your lawn sprinkler one day, and instead of a yellow one, it's a green one? Yeah, right, right. <laughs> like, it still functions fine, so you right. don't have to You're replace like, it. What the hell, man? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 
Man, it'd be real sad if it was like a really sentimental lawn sprinkler, though. <laughs> that your grandma made for you. Yeah, <laughs> Just yeah. like grandma used to make. Yeah, she smelted it herself. Well, you probably shouldn't <laughs> be putting grandma's quilts on city property right. overnight. Yeah. Let the nice by the guys way, finish first. If you are one of those people, I'm just giving you shit. Right. I don't really mean it. I mean, we didn't touch your stuff. Uh, Clearly, didn't touch we your didn't stuff, mean it. Didn't pound any sign saying free mm -hmm. take one, but I sure thought about it. Mm-hmm.